What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Sun Life. And Katie. Welcome to California. This is Downey, but we're about to go over to East LA. Turn right onto Lakewood Boulevard, then turn right after Jack. I was born in East LA. So we're going to go to East LA. I, uh, I love the movie Born in East LA. And um, I'm dying crazy to get to East LA. I want to see this place since because of the movie. Um, we're in a. What, it closed down. It's not open anymore. But I saw this huge Welcome to Florida restaurant here. Um, kind of interesting. Uh, there, there's a lot of Cubans in the Downey area. And I actually like this area of Downey a lot. Like, if I was going to move to California um, within a reasonable price range, uh, this is definitely um, something I'd consider for sure. Um, because it's it's just... I like it. Do you like it again? Yeah. It, it's like a down-to-earth, real, like, just that normal... Normal down to earth area. I like Downey a lot. Yeah. <coughs> well, we're 15 minutes from East LA, and if you're wondering where this uh, mural is, if you're Cuban and you want to come to California, Turn right, after right behind the, the McDonald's the right, that's famous here Florence in Downey. So. But in 15 minutes, we'll be in East LA, so let's head on that way. Um, and we're still east of LA now, kind of southeast. So we're going to be in East LA. It's an area I've always wanted to see. It's 2 o'clock. I want to be out of Los Angeles by 4 because traffic gets bad. I'm gonna pull you turn. And uh, Downey. Head south on Lakewood Boulevard. I like it. I mean. Have a shut up for a second. Lakewood Boulevard toward East Florence Avenue. Then turn left onto East Florence Avenue. Yeah, I does not know what it's doing yet. Well, can't have her interrupting while I'm talking. Yeah, sure. So, Downey has malls. There's a Macy's, which had the biggest selection of clothes I have ever seen in a Macy's. They're very well stocked. Um, there's a Foot Locker, one of the biggest Foot Lockers I've ever seen. And they haven't burnt it down like the people in Tampa did. <sighs> I'm going to say I like Downey. And, and out of all the places I've gone to California, it seems like a very, like, down-to-earth place. Um, now, there's not, like, incredible beaches or anything near here. This is just kind of part of the LA metro area. So it's not, like, a special place. But it's, it's just right about normal. Uh, reminds me a lot of Fort Lauderdale, Miami. <coughs> it feels like Florida, and understandably, that's probably why there's so many Cubans here, because it really has that, like, Florida feel. It's, uh, for being California. There's no traffic on the roads now, guys. It's 2 o'clock. But believe me, by 4 o'clock, you don't want to be anywhere in the Los Angeles area. The whole thing gridlock. So I'm going to try to get out of Los Angeles, and Kate and I still have to decide where we're going to from here, because there's so many things. We've never been to a place... Where there's so much we wanted to see. Here's a barbecue place. Yeah. Um, the only thing I don't like about the, this place here is that there's not really... California is not big on building houses. I don't know if it's the state laws. I would love to hear the local opinion. <coughs> because I, as a millennial, would like to move into a luxury newer apartment complex if I were to move out here. And I don't see any of that here. And uh, there's one in Koreatown, and recently um, a rapper called Jay Money was, I don't know if he survived or not, I can't remember the news article, but he was driving around LA in a rented Rolls Royce, Royce, which is like drawing attention to yourself, bad idea. Um, I'm not familiar with this person, it was just on the news, I, I saw it on the news, somehow it popped in my timeline. I guess my phone figured out, Los Angeles, east, west, what am I doing here? You are getting on the north. five north. north. Okay. Yeah. But anyways, it popped across my timeline. So I guess it figured out that I was in this area. Actually, I was in Koreatown yesterday, just driving through there. Kind of near Koreatown. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's a bad neighborhood, but apparently in there, there's new apartment complexes. <coughs> and this rapper was staying there, and I guess... But he was also posting his location, flashing gold jewelry, and a Rolls Royce. So that's pretty much... That's ask asking for trouble. Yeah, that's asking for trouble. Um... But anyways, he, um, I don't know if he survived or not, but either way, he had that problem. And, um... You're gonna be ridiculous, ridiculous things are gonna happen to you. Yeah, you kind of draw that energy. Well, anyways, the point being that, you know, quote-unquote safe new apartment complex in a neighborhood that quote-unquote isn't supposed to be bad, but it's the energy you draw, and I guess the energy he draw attracted for rent. Right there, see those apartments? Yeah. That looks grimy. It does. 
thing. I want like oh, crap. fresh. Oh crap, this is blow our light. Uh, there's a light at the end of it. You can't just like drive off the alpha and there's a light. There's a long time Los Angeles up there. Continue on I-5 North for five miles. <coughs> I hope they don't have red light cameras here because I've blown so many red lights. And it's not even 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock and there's already a little situation Waffle. unfolding here. By the yeah. time it gets to be like 4 o'clock here, this is a nightmare. By 5.30, the whole city of Los Angeles is gridlocked. It's pretty bad during peak hours. It's not bad throughout the day, which is different from Florida. Because Florida, this season, it's packed throughout the whole day. I hear that peak hours. I don't know about in the morning because I'm not up early. Yeah. But 4.30 to 5, 4 to 5, 5.30 to 6, unbearable. So we're gonna run down to East LA and see what it's about. I've been dying to see this place. But anyway, supposedly a good neighborhood, supposedly, you know, a new apartment complex and the guy ran into that issue there. Um, it's crazy, but he, supposedly he got like $100,000 in jewelry. Oh, that's kind of Area we drove through it, it did look sketchy. Mm -hmm. This looks way better over here. Yeah. And even over here, I'm sure about driving around with a hundred thousand dollars in jewelry. You know, Rolls Royce, you're hey, just asking for it. If you act, if you act flashy or anything like that, you're gonna have things happen. Look at mountains over there. Yeah, that's cool. Is that snow or clouds? Clouds, but it looks like snow because it's like wrapping the mountain. Yeah, it's clouds. It snowed like two hours from here yesterday. Yeah. We're gonna be driving through that. Are you sure it's not snow? No, it's clouds. Oh, that's so cool. You can see it, it looks like smoke. Mm -hmm. It looks more like smoke than snow. It's basically like we live in Sarasota and you could drive around in anything, or in anything, it's not a problem. Yeah. But here, it's just too much poverty. Born in Gamma Way. Yeah, guys, we're to East LA, man. <coughs> now, there's neighborhoods where or you could just tell they're bad areas, you know? Yeah. And that's where you really gotta watch out for stuff. Mm -hmm. But I like newer apartment complexes, I really do. I'm big on newer apartment complexes. And it doesn't seem like uh, they have that many newer apartment complexes. Yeah. Here. Here, that are larger. And if they are, what are they going for? Like 4000 a month? 3500 or something you said? Yeah. It'd be a thousand dollars more a month than we're already paying now. Yeah. You get, to, you get to the point where life gets so expensive, a thousand dollars doesn't make a difference anymore. Yeah. You know what I do like about Los Angeles? There's a lot of uh, German cars here. Yeah. A lot of Beamers, Benzes. Mm -hmm. What's the exit called? Uh, it's the 710. You can turn it up so you can talk to me. I have it on. Did you not listen to it? What car is this? Lexus, but it looks all tiny like a turtle. I don't know Lexus made cars like that. <coughs> it's like a RAV4 Lexus. Yeah. I was born in East LA. I was born in Gamma Way. You notice that most of the people that were driving bad were driving either Hondas, uh, Accords, or Acros, mm -hmm. and they're all gray or, or beige. Yeah. And those are the cars that are easiest to steal, supposedly. Mm. It seems like most of those cars that are driving around like are driving crazy or like stolen cars. Mm -hmm. 
there's a lower Silverado right there. That's more like, you see that yeah. lot in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. That's more of a Texas thing. You're getting thing. off at 1.30 more of a Texas thing right there, the Lord yeah. and Silverado. Mm -hmm. I was born in Gamma Way. So the movie Born in East LA is about a Mexican-American born in the United States who yeah. gets deported because he looks Mexican, but he, he's a U.S. citizen. What are you doing? You're getting off the next exit. I'm doing whatever I want, bro. No woman's going to tell me what to do. You but wanted I need to go see Born in East LA. Yeah. Then get off at this exit. No woman's gonna tell me what to do. Actually, not this one, the next one. Oh, so who's talking now, women? Atlantic Boulevard South. This is north. <coughs> oh, quarter mile. Oh, who's talking Even now? Take the exit on the right. This exit right here. Cool. I was born in East LA. <laughs> I was born in Gamma Way. Right here. Turn right. Well, the movie's about a Mexican American that barely Turn speaks right. Spanish. Sharp left. No, born here in Los Angeles. Uh, left or right? Right, onto Telegraph. Guy, he barely speaks any Spanish, you know, because he's born here, but he looks Mexican, you know, Mexican American. So he gets deported because he looks like a Mexican, and then, uh, but he's never been to Mexico, barely speaks Spanish. It's one of the most hilarious movies, and the type of movie that I really enjoy. And I think he he marries like a Salvadorian girl at the end of the movie. Yeah. That he met, trying to like, and then it's all the adventures of like him trying to come back to the United States, and you know he has to work for sketchy people to try to like smuggle himself back over here, and he's not able to figure it out. And there's a few scenes in the movie that I really liked. Any, any scene that you really liked in the movie? I wish they had done a sequel on it. Yeah. Because, one, he had all that adventure. Mm -hmm. He came back with a wife. Mm -hmm. I want to see what Mama's reaction... I would have wanted to see Mama's reaction. Left, like, I feel hand. like that could have been... Yeah. Absolutely one, Sharp of left. yeah. Absolutely one of the funniest movies I have ever seen. Yeah. Jalisco, Jalisco Auto Repair. Yeah. Well, this is supposed to be like a very Mexican neighborhood. I'm really excited to see it. According to the movie, I don't know if in real life it's yeah. like that. <laughs> you know how movies be turned, you know. <laughs> <coughs> I love, oh, look at the graffiti murals. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you're an East LA. Oh, man, I love it. This is, this is what I envisioned. Los Angeles would look like, but I wasn't able to find it at first, you know? But like, you have a beautiful view. Driving gosh, down. Gosh, man. Yeah. We're going to Whittier, and that's where the, the main street is. I love the vibes already. I can tell you, it feels very, uh, mm -hmm. like, this is what I thought Los Angeles would look like. Like, over-the-top Mexican feel, like, murals and graffiti murals and stuff. I love it. I bet you they got some killer Mexican food here. Is this Whittier here, or, or yeah, not yet? That's Olympic. Born. East LA. Whittier will come up eventually. I was born in Gamma Way. Yeah, this will take you to Whittier. So, um, there's so many scenes in that movie that I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, too many scenes that I enjoyed. One scene that I enjoyed was... Um, the jail. Oh, yeah, the jail. Yeah. Sure the jail. Quotes from that movie. Yeah. The jail. The or preacher him. is hilarious. Yeah, what, what did the preacher do? I can't remember. Refresh my memory. Once you refresh my memory, I remember. The preacher was like a complete thug, right? Is that what it was about? The preacher was like, oh, wow. He was a complete thug. Yeah. If I remember. It was something about money. Yeah. I can't remember, dude. My memory's not fresh today. They kept locking him up, I remember that. Yeah, he kept getting locked up by the Mexican police. Yeah. I remember the preacher was like a complete dog. I remember that part. Mm -hmm. It's a hilarious movie, and I'm telling you, it's really worth watching. It is yeah. just uh, one of the most hilarious pieces of, of, uh, of com comedy that I remember seeing. Mm -hmm. Barely. <laughs> I remember he's bad. I remember the part with uh, with his cousin. There's Whittier. 
Okay, this is weird. Yeah. This is the main street here. I remember yeah. his cousin was like, thought the phone was behind a picture. Yeah. So he thought the picture was talking to him and it was actually his cousin. Mm -hmm. Juan, Juan, estoy en Tijuana. <laughs> <laughs> It was, Jesus in Tijuana. Oh, Dios mío, Jesus is oh, in Tijuana. <laughs> no, that movie, yeah. that movie is absolutely insane. I like this. Look at the homeless camps, though. Yeah. Dude, that movie is absolutely Hilarious. insane, bro. Yeah. So there's like a picture of Jesus, and they, the, the his mom would put the, G, the, the phone behind the Jesus picture. So you'd have to remove the Jesus picture to get the phone because it was in a hole in the wall. Yeah. And um, so his cousin, who was from Mexico, ironically, yeah, was there, and uh, at their staying at their house for some random reason, right? Yeah. But he was trying to like call back and let his family know he got deported or whatever. Yeah. So his cousin's at his house, and he's like, "Juan, Juan, estoy en Tijuana." <laughs> he's like, "Juan, I'm in Tijuana." And then Juan saw the picture of Jesus talking to him. And it was a holographic picture of Jesus where um, if you walked around it, like, the eyeball would move or whatever. So, like, Juan, being from Mexico, had never seen anything like that. Like, a holographic Jesus. The, the movie is just insanely hilarious. Uh, and, and it tackles a lot of subjects that I think people are shy about. The Spanish culture. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. You just buy old shot by the side of the road. That Man, is we get some of that pineapple over there. <laughs> I'm going to say, I hadn't seen this part of Los Angeles well, yet, but oh. I really like this. It was <laughs> definitely worth it. Wow. This is what I imagined. Yeah. Los Angeles would look like. Yeah. I mean, who you're going to get hit by me. Estoy en Tijuana, Juan. Estoy en Tijuana. Uh -huh. And Juan didn't realize that the phone was behind the painting, so he was like, yeah. Jesus está en Tijuana. <laughs> that movie is absolutely. It tackles. It tackles like every aspect of Latin or Mexican American culture that other people would have never even dared to touch. Yeah. You know? Like, it poked fun of every aspect of Mexican-American culture mm -hmm. in a way that I don't think anybody else would ever yeah. dare to even go there. Mm -hmm. It's a masterfully put-together movie. It really is. Yeah. Um, actually, this isn't far from Beverly. It starts up on the other side. I don't know if you knew that. What? Remember when we went through Beverly yesterday? Yeah. I had no idea it starts up north of here again. Yeah. Let's take some of these black streets. Does it look interesting on your side or my side? That's just commercial or residential? That's commercial. So maybe on the north side? Yeah. We'll some residential That's areas. definitely residential. Okay, we'll hit up some residential areas. Yeah. Dude, this is exactly... So Beverly's out there. This is Santa what... Monica's there, too. Dude, with, no, th this is on the other side of town, baby. Okay. But they continue on east of downtown. Okay. This is what I thought Los Angeles would look like right here. It yeah. really is. This right here is exactly uh, what I figured Los Angeles would look like. <laughs> very Mexican. Very Hispanic. I love the... Or shot up, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, the taco stores and la panda, panaderia, lavanderia, mamaria, peparia, tataria, cousinria, like every familia, whatever the craperia yeah. in town exists here. Lavanderia, cagadia, cagaderia. My Spanish is going to crap. I was born in East LA. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is an awesome district. Yeah. Like, this is what I wanted to see when I came to L.A., bro. Like, I've seen all these other places, and nothing really inspired me. Like, wow, this is what I wanted to see. This is it right here. No doubt about it, man. This is Los Angeles. You want to get your Spanish back. I need to get, I need to, yeah, my Spanish is bad, bro. Like, I'm trying to talk. And, how, how would you go about doing that? Um, getting a Spanish friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was that look about? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kate freaked out there for a minute. Like, Spanish what? I was like, I don't have to do anything, right? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is just like the movie. Oh yeah, this is... <laughs> the movie was accurate about this neighborhood. Very accurate. The movie did not let me down, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. 
This is over the top Mexican. This is like over the top Mexican. I love it. Yeah. Too many Coopers for some random reason. Mm -hmm. In a jacked up truck. I'm gonna miss my jacked up truck, but it's the most retarded thing you could drive. Yeah. Bad on gas, destroys tires. Mm -hmm. I was born in East LA. This is exactly what I envisioned Los Angeles would look like. Yeah. I know we've seen so much in Los Angeles, but this is what I wanted to see right here. I know. Like, this looks exactly like what I thought it would look like. Okay, go something. I love it. I can just imagine, like, a lowrider van cutting us off at any minute. Yeah. With, like, a Virgin Mary on the side or something. Well, if you're going to find that, you're probably going to find it here. This is the place, man. Mm -hmm. Although that little neighborhood we discovered in San Antonio, that was more Mexican yeah. than this, I would say for sure. Yeah. That place was over the top Mexican. Mm -hmm. Low rider Chevy truck. There's a lot of BMWs here. Mm -hmm. Dude, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. I wonder how dangerous this neighborhood is. I don't know. I like it. Oh snap, look at the Camaro, Camaro, Camaro on 22s, dog. Mm. A lot of old trucks, too. <clears throat> Interesting cars. Cor yeah. Corvette. Mm -hmm. Dead end? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and turn around. I'll figure it out. Mm. Bro, I absolutely love this. This neighborhood has some of the most Hispanic vibes I've ever seen anywhere in America. And you like it? Oh, I love it. Corvette. Hmm. Lots of trucks. And what American muscle. Can you see what a house costs out here? Just out of curiosity. Sure. What does a, like one of these little houses in East LA cost? Duh, the only complication could be the the app. <laughs> oh, it hasn't been working lately? It's never working. Yeah, it's never really there working. There are a lot of trucks in this neighborhood. It's a shame. High fives and then usually around sevens. And now my app doesn't want to work. 700,000? Yeah. So high, so at least half a mil. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Lolitas tamales. Look at that. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. Lolitas tamales. Tamales y lolitas. Los tamales de Lolita. Son los mejores, son los mejores tamales que tú vas a encontrar. Pam, 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 pam. Los tamales de Lolita están baratos, son buenos. Los tamales de Lolita yo los quiero. Tan, taran, 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 tan, taran, tan, 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 tan. Si serán los tamales de Lolita los que yo más quiero. Pam, 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 pam. I am so sad to have to leave Los Angeles, bro. Mm -hmm. You heard so much bad stuff about the city. You can't wear certain colors. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's dangerous, bro. I have loved the city. I understand it's not a perfect place, but, you know, you hear so much bad stuff about Los Angeles. And look at this mural right here. Mm -hmm. I love the murals. This is what I really envisioned. Family Plus. <laughs> it's got a mural. Oh, dude, this is just awesome. Mm -hmm. Los tamales de Lolita son los que más quiero. Pam, 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 pam. Son tamales muy buenos. Pam, 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 pam. And the next 
next one. You can't enter. <laughs> <laughs> you remember the movie? Yeah. I'm sorry. Hold on. If you know the movie East LA, this is just how accurate that movie was. Look at a picture of Jesus. That movie, I'm telling you, it captured every aspect of the culture of this place. Was just, I'm sure the person who did that might have purposely done that just because of the movie. I'm, I'm sure that's like a little. Maybe not. No, Maybe. it might just be. But you know, that was kind of a pun at how like Mexican people will put stuff like that anywhere. Mm -hmm. This is this is the real Los Angeles. I don't give a crap. Mm -hmm. so this is what Los Angeles is about right here. Mm -hmm. This is what I imagine. I drove all over Los Angeles. But this right here, the vibe of this place is everything I ever thought Los Angeles would be. Mm -hmm. Like, I am thoroughly satisfied now after seeing this neighborhood. And if there's any other neighborhood like this in Los Angeles, exactly like this, mm -hmm. I can see why it's a one-way now. You can see how you can drive out. If there's any other neighborhood in Los Angeles that has these types of vibes, please let me know so the next time I come here to Los Angeles, I can check it out. Because in my mind, this is what I, I imagined Los Angeles was this right here. Like just Mexican murals and just the colors of all the businesses. The contrast. One business is purple, the other one's green. This is what I imagined like Los Angeles was about. Like I'm so happy to be here and see this because in my mind, this is what I thought Los Angeles would be like. And I've seen so many different neighborhoods and none of them really checked off like, like this place has. Just the, this place is full of culture. This place is full of um, it has essence, man. And though those mountains, I'm sure on a clear day yeah. we could see the mountains. So I'm I'm ready to go. I mean, I, I think after seeing this neighborhood, I have seen what I came to see. You happy? I'm ready to move out of Los okay. Angeles. Now we have to decide: are we going to go along the coast or we're we going to go to Bakersfield, or do you want to go to Lancaster and Palmdale? Palmdale would be another one I would love to see. Yeah, we can but, see. And then from Lanca from there we can do Lancaster. So let's do that, and then we'll do a one um. random. Let's do along the coast today, and then tomorrow, you know, we you can... You weren't even f able to find a hotel along the coast. I can't find one in two you seconds. You figure it out. Los tamales de Lolita son los mejores. Yo los quiero. I'm not the best ranchero singer. I'm not even a ranchero singer, to be honest. I'm not even a good, let alone the best. Los tamales de Lolita. Son los mejores. Is this like gang graffiti? Oh, I love it. I'm gonna take this other way. It's a one way, but I want to take it. Look at this like alleyway. Look at the. Oh, I've got to get a photo on this alleyway. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I envision Los Angeles mm -hmm. would be like. I got to get a picture of my car in this alleyway. I might get shot in the process or something. Give me the phone real quick. This is super sketchy, but I have to do it. Give me the phone real quick. I don't want to be out here too long. This is what Los Angeles will look like, bro. You know, um, this is super dangerous because, you know, people live stream in bad neighborhoods, like, mm -hmm. to say they went there. Yeah. Like, for the wrong reasons. I'm just doing it because I'm happy to be here, guys. Esto es Los Angeles. Where are you here? We're in Los Angeles, you know. Mm -hmm. East LA. You have to be really careful because yeah. live streaming, some people live stream, like, to say they went somewhere. You're like, live right now? No, I'm not, but that's what it could look like to somebody. Mm. We should probably get out of here because that white truck saw us and I yeah. have no idea what their thoughts are going to be on what we're doing. Mm. I can see how that looked wrong. Yeah. To that truck there, I can see how that might have looked wrong. Mm -hmm. We should probably leave. Mm -hmm. To that white truck that was there, I have no idea how they would have perceived me doing that. Okay. It was a very dumb thing to do, but I couldn't help doing it. Mm -hmm. I just wanted a picture of my car so bad in the highway. 
But I can definitely see how that might have like been taken the wrong way by a white truck that was here. Newer looking truck. So look at the, the Cadillac on Vogue's. Just keep an eye out for a white story of the truck. Yeah, I have no that way. Cool, okay. I have no idea how they would have perceived that, you know? Mm -hmm. They could have perceived that as disrespect. I have no idea. I was hoping nobody would pull up to me in that way, but somebody did. Que lugar más lindo, bro. Tanta, tanta cultura. It's just full of life, man. Cars, palm trees, colorful businesses. Um, que lugar más interesante, bro. Look at three food trucks lined up right there on the side of the road. <clears throat> Not too many homeless people. There's a few camps here and there. Tres hermanos, family. I'm sure. I love how there's just like food trucks on the side of the road. It's a clothing store. Where? Tres hermanos. Oh, it's not a restaurant? No, it's a clothing store. Cool. You think they'll have some really cool clothes? I think we bought more clothes on this trip than we need, though. Yeah. Enough is enough. And I got new shoes today. Yeah, you got new shoes. You got a lot. We spent way too much on this trip. Oh, we did. But this neighborhood, out of all the places I've seen yeah. in Los Angeles, is the one that I've liked the most as far as, like, just the saturation of culture that that's here you know it's like i've told you you can't find anything in florida any clothes no all of our good clothes that we have bought has so far been in other states yeah not we have not found anything once a year we need to plan a trip to go shopping last year we did it in detroit yeah and this year we did it here in california yeah uh in florida man it's so hard to find good clothes you can't yeah, it really isn't too It's much. not worth it because they don't want to send the stuff that's quality yeah. to Florida. So yeah. you might as well go somewhere else. Yeah. And then it makes your vacation extra fun because you're going shopping too. Okay. So what decision have we made? Monterey Bay. Okay, you're not going to make it to Monterey Bay today. You're going to drive. That, that's okay. That doesn't make sense to drive there. Okay. okay. For a lot of reasons. One, six hours away. Mm -hmm. Two, you're gonna you don't want to drive along the coast. You don't want to just drive to there. Mm -hmm. The point of that would be to drive along the coast, not just to land there. Okay, no problem. So that that's not. Do practical. you want to just take the five up? I don't know. The five isn't an option. It's either along the coast from Malibu, or hop on over to. Hold on, hold on. I'm doing something. Olivera Music, a music store. Look, I sell guitars and keyboards and stuff. Yeah. Man, this place is incredible. Next to a pawn shop. Next to a paqueteria. Bro, this place is... Next to a lavanderia. <laughs> Aquí todo el mundo es eria. Lavanderia, musiqueria, musiqueria. My Spanish is so messed up. I don't know what I'm going to do to make my Spanish make sense again. Hola, soy José, el que no habla español muy bien. And me around Mexicans just makes it worse because like they speak Mexican Spanish. So then like, and I'm around, actually, I, my, my Mexican Spanish is better. No, I wouldn't say that. I don't know, my Spanish is so weird because it's like, I'm around Cubans, Mexicans, and a lot of Guatemalans back in Florida. So uh, you just start, when you talk to Spanish nowadays, when I talk Spanish, I'm not always talking Cuban Spanish. I might be talking to Puerto Rican, Dominican, so many different types of Spanish and each Spanish is a different dialect. So it's very hard to put together a conversation with somebody because to me, the accent is as much as part of the language and, and as much as communication. Like if I'm talking to a Mexican and I start talking Cuban and then they're gonna be like, what the crap are you talking about? Like I'm talking to Cuban, oh, my mom, what the hell? But you know, like, tú sabes que por aquí no hay un cafecito, algo bueno por aquí, man. Porque, oye, no he encontrado nada, oye. And a Cuban would understand that. Now, if I talk like that to a Mexican, they're, they're not going to say, if I'm Mexican, but, uh, ¿Cómo está, señor? Mira, ando buscando uh, un lugar que tenga un cafecito. ¿Conoces algún lugar por aquí que puedas recomendar? Like that. But if you're my lawyer, hermano, busca un cafecito, hace algo por aquí. You know, like, there's different ways to speak Spanish. And I'm at the point where 
when I talk to someone in Spanish, if I cannot determine what type of Spanish I want to talk to this person, it makes it very complicated. And then there's Spanglish, like young kids, the you know, a whole different complexity of it all. You know, think about like, imagine if you grab somebody from California, somebody from New York, somebody from Boston, somebody from Chicago, somebody from Louisiana, Cuban from Florida, a guy from Texas, and a guy from Oklahoma, and a guy from Wisconsin and Minnesota. Throw them all together in the room. Very different dialects of the English language. Throw an Australian in there. Actually, we're talking just in the United States. Throw an Australian, throw an English guy in there. Uh, throw a South African in there. You know what I mean? Let's really make this interesting. Um, you'd, you'd come to the conclusion that there, there's a... Uh... There you go. I found it. The what? Place for tonight. Let me see. Let me just keep it safe. That would possibly work. Where's the cop coming from behind us? Yeah. There's stuff over there. Oh, there's a cop coming. Jose, look to the left of you. What happened? The van. Dude, oh, the astro van? There's something bad happened up here. Oh, I'm stopping okay. the car. Yeah, I know. I guess nobody does that here, but something really bad must have happened up there. They're like, that cop was like rushing. Yeah. Oh, look at the wall with the Mexican flag on. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Dude, this place is incredible. This is the real Los Angeles. Continue on Whittier Boulevard for half a mile. You are on the fastest route despite some I love this place, bro. And when I come back to Los that Angeles, this is the area I want to be in. Yeah. This <laughs> you don't know until you actually come Oh, you to gotta the explore place. the place, man. And I told yeah. you, it's just a big city. We're not gonna be able to do everything. But in my thing. mind, like, what I thought Los Angeles was, was this. Was this. this is what I envisioned. You know, like this neighborhood here is what I envisioned. You know, yeah. like this would be like. Mm -hmm. You see where the cops went? What direction they went? Uh, no, I didn't. I knew they were up here, but I don't know where they went. Oh, nobody underneath this bridge here. Uh, this looks so cool. Well, it's not a few homeless camps, not too many. Another mirror right here. I can't believe I got out in the You're alleyway. Turn that is wild. You're gonna left, not here, but up ahead. ahead. Did the cops turn left or keep going ahead? Oh, they're up ahead. I'd like to see if that scene is unfolding or something. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I've seen cops like rushing like that here. Chicago, it's like every minute, every 10 minutes a cop's flying by. Yeah. Look at all these, uh, oh, it's a cemetery. Look at that cemetery. Yeah. They have a, a bunch Get of, Get in the uh, left lane, love. Da, 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 da. Maybe, maybe something unfolded here. In a quarter mile, turn left. You're gonna go up to Downey and turn left. Your GPS to get up to go. Yeah, to get us out. Okay. okay, are they looking for like what happened? Did you see where the cops went? I don't know where the cops went. He's driving the wrong way, so it must be serious. Yeah. It must have been back in here, maybe somebody. That looks like a brand new hotel complex. Apartment. Yes, but this is neighborhood's hot. This is where you're turning. Okay, I think it was where the cops were camped here. Yeah. Okay. You know the cops? I don't see Might have been around here. I hear police sirens everywhere. Mm. Lady smell flowers. I can't believe I got out in the other way. What? What the crap is wrong with me? <laughs> it's not that all I did was wrong. It's like how somebody seeing it could have perceived it. Yeah. Get on the five in a moment, but it's gonna be brief. <clears throat> Turn right onto the I five North ramp, then merge onto I five North. Here, I five North. Five North, take a right. Yeah, right here. Hit police.
police sirens? Is it on the highway? No. It's in this neighborhood. I see. I hear police sirens. They're behind you. They're behind you. Behind me? But it looks like they're turning. So, so it's in that neighborhood there. Mm -hmm. Or up ahead. It's in that neighborhood where we were. Yeah. Must have been bad when there's not many cops in and out. Yeah. Oh, these things are only. Uh, there you go. You got like one car at a time. Wow, you think it's all Los Angeles now? That was definitely Los Angeles. Yeah. I mean, this neighborhood doesn't have all the hype of the like, all the neighborhoods like Beverly Hills, Compton, get all the hype, you know? This doesn't get all that much hype, but dude, that is Los Angeles. To me, out of all the neighborhoods I've seen, that is definitely what I wanted to see right there. Yeah. So we're on the five now? Yeah, and you're gonna make a turn up up ahead on the I ten. So is it going to take I-10? Yeah, it's going to take I-10 to where it ends, and then you're going so to go From there we're on the coast? Yeah. All right. And that hotel will want to get a restoration early? Uh, you realize that's going to be a very long drive. We won't get there till the evening. Yes, I understand that. Los Angeles City Limits. All right, guys. That was East LA. Bye.